Hey guys, so in yesterday's video, you may remember that I talked about South American Drosera. And these Drosera need things to be a little bit cooler and they grow a little bit different to our other Drosera. So that means we have to get the tinfoil out. Welcome back to the channel today guys and in today's video like I said we will be talking about South American Drosera and how to look after them and a little trick that I use with the tinfoil and this does actually help I've used it before on Drosera regia and other plants that like to have their pots kept a little bit cool and I'll explain in a little bit why tinfoil actually helps with that. South American Drosera are Drosera native to Mexico and Brazil basically the whole of South America. What they all share in common is that they like to be kept cooler than the normal Drosera. You can kind of say that they're similar in growing to Highland Nepenthes, which means that they like to have a very cool environments, high humidity, but what is different to Highland Nepenthes is a lot and a lot of light. So the trick that I've learned over growing my plants um, and one that I've used fairly recently in the past two or three years is using tin foil to keep the roots cool. So what you do is you want to take this tin foil and you want to wrap it around the, the pot. And this actually keeps the sun rays off of the pot and keeps the pot cooler. And this helps keep the plants growing even if the environment is a little bit too warm and allows them to grow outside with all your other drosteras so you don't have to build an entire separate greenhouse for them. Okay, we've got our pot, we've got some tin foil, some tape and some scissors here so that we can measure out some foil for these pots. So what I want to do with the foil is that I want to measure out six sleeves. So we have four South American Drosera, Darlingtonia and Drosera Regia. Darlingtonia and Regia both like to have cool roots and obviously the South American Drosera like to just stay cool in general. So what we need to do, we need to form six sleeves so we can just simply slide it on top of each of the pots. And one thing that you could do is that you could put it on this, uh, put the pot on the foil, stick it on, roll it over, and then see how much you use. But I will use a measure, tape measure, so it can just be a little bit more accurate. And I wanna use the widest diameter of the pot, so obviously the top, because that's what it's gonna fold and sit on and that sits at about 32 centimeters which is obviously quite a bit of tin foil so i'm going to measure this out cut it off cut it in half so we can make two per and hopefully i don't use all of the tin foil So you just want to set your pot at the top, take your foil, it's very difficult this part, or maybe just difficult for me, and just stick the foil on to the top. So now you can, you have an anchor point that you can actually wrap the foil around. And yeah, I realized that I um, forgot to measure lengthways. We can actually fit three pots in one strip. So these two strips could have actually fitted three pots. So that was my mistake. But we'll, we'll fix it for the next one. Wrap it around, just like this. Can leave a little bit of height at the top because that can fold over. But just make sure that you have it tight. You don't want it to slip off over time. Make sure you pull it nice and tight all the way around. Always double check it just to make extra sure. And then just tape this top bit down here, the end of it onto the body of the tin foil. And then just fold over the top, just like that. And there we go. 
that is how you do the foil. Obviously, you're gonna gently press the foil all together, and uh, I will just raise up this bottom bit. And there you go. Now we have one sheet that we can put onto another plant. But obviously you saw me tape this cover onto this pot. So now we just need to unstick it and slide it off. And there we go, slid it off. Now the, the pot should just be able to come right off of the mold. And there we go. This is our starting bit of foil, and that's fine. Now we can just slide this onto one of our pots. So let me go get one and show you exactly that. So here we have Drosera tormentosa. Let me see if I can show you the seeds. Oh, well, the tiny little plants. Over there. Tiny. Anyway, got your plant and just start it in. And obviously, press the foil nicely around the plant so it has a good uh, grip. And then simply just slide your tag back in. And there we go, we have our first plant with its foil on. So I'm just gonna do this and I hope that I can do it a little bit cleaner because obviously the first time doing something in a long time looks a little bit messy and you can think of better ways to do it. So let's do some more. was a little bit easier, but still quite difficult to do, especially because there's so much extra length at the bottom, which obviously that was my mistake in the first place. Um, sliding it around the pot and getting the pot up was difficult, so I just used the pot to prop it up and then slide it up and around. But the next one that we make, it will be obviously easier because we know this the right length now, and it'll be divided into three, so we won't have as much extra space. So let's start doing that too. Okay, so I just finished up the foil sleeve for the Drosera Regia over here. And then I just started worrying a little bit um, if aluminium foil leaches into water. And obviously, um, that makes me a little bit concerned if it does or doesn't. But anyway, for now, it's not very necessary to have this foil for the Regia. So I'll leave the Regia just like this and I'll keep the foil um, in the cupboard because very soon we're going to have to move the Regi into its own pot anyway because it has to get fed Osmocote pellets and these pellets will leach nutrients that, which will kill 
all the other seedlings. So this will be used very soon anyway. Um, but as I said, I'm just worried about the aluminium leaching into the soil and I'm not sure if that, I mean into the water and I'm not sure if that will kill off the plants. So I'm going to keep the foil on for the South American Drosera because I'm a little bit more worried about them than anyone else. But I'm going to keep them in their own water trays like this. I'm just going to roll up the bottom of, oh you can't even see it. I'm just going to roll up the bottom layers of foil here so that the water is not directly in the foil and then I'll just monitor them like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit um, confused now because I'm not sure if it does leach into water or not and I can't really find anything on Google. So what, what do you guys think? Do you guys use this before? Um, how does it work for you? I've used it before but I remembered that I had the regi. I, I don't like sitting my regi in water. I top water it every day and that's, that's a reason why I never had to worry about the aluminium sitting in water. I also had it around Cephalotus and Darlingtonia but they were all top watered and obviously the top watered foil is not sitting in water and I don't have to worry about it leaching into the water. So let me know what you guys think um, and then I'll take it from there. But anyway we have our four plants here all potted up and let's go move them outside now. Okay and I've just put them out. Sorry for the bad quality. I had to bring out a third tray and pack them in. They're over there. One, two, three, four, and there's a rejar. And I took some of the pots here and I put them around just to make sure that any sun coming from the sides um, wouldn't hit the sides of those pots. And yeah, everything has moved up. Still using the bin because I want to get a I want to get a steak. Someone recommended that I get a steak down the middle, put the roll over. It's a really good idea. Um, but our fence over here is going to be redone. You can't see it on on film. But anyway, there'll be lots of metal stakes that I'll be able to use when they finish off with that. So now we have this empty tray here, or the tracularia um, out. About half of them sprouted. This tray is looking quite empty as well. And there's a couple more plants in there that I want to move tomorrow when the sun is back up. Put them outside in the full sun as well. Yeah, and these are all the seeds of the tuberous drosera. So they're all still need to germinate. So yeah, now we have three trays out in the sun. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit more information on South American Drosera and keeping the roots cold. So yeah, thank you guys. See you next time.